morning. Welcome back to Bryce out here on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Grant Gilmore tracking Hurricane Fiona. Cat 4 hurricane now moving to the north northeast at 13 miles per hour, 130 mile per hour winds. This is a monster out there and it will generally pass to the west of Bermuda, though those tropical storm force winds extend out over 200 miles from the center of the storm. So it'll still experience some pretty rough conditions as they go through tonight into the day tomorrow and then southeastern Canada really has to watch out for a transitioning tropical system that will still be producing hurricane force winds as it arrives sometime over the weekend Saturday into Sunday. Meanwhile, the rest of the Atlantic very active. We've got tropical storm guests on no concern in the northern Atlantic. Another tropical wave with a 60% chance of developing as it moves off the coast of Africa and then invest 98 L. This is what you've seen on social media. Let's talk about this here. It has still not developed. This is not Fiona, but this is a different system that is slowly beginning to organize, fighting some wind shear moving from the north some land interaction over South America. Before I show you any of the forecast models, I want to tell you this. The track details with a system are very difficult and almost unclear before the system actually develops. If you don't know where to start, you don't know where to end, right? So that's one factor I want you to take away from that. We are expecting it to develop as it moves through the Eastern Caribbean over the next couple of days. As it moves into the Western Caribbean, we are expecting it to see or potentially see some pretty rapid intensification. That's the potential with the environmental conditions. Now, let me show you the latest spaghetti models. Each one of those lines representing a different forecast model. Pretty good agreement over the next couple of days. But as we head through the weekend into next week, you see the spread there, pretty good spread on where it goes. That's just because of that high uncertainty in the forecast model. So one to three days, we think we know what's going to happen. After that, four to 10 days down the road, the whole Gulf of Mexico, guys, we have to watch this closely. We'll be posting a lot more information about this on 10tampabay.com. All the updates are right there on our YouTube page as well. If you go to the 10 Tampa Bay YouTube page, every time that I give an update or any one of our meteorologists give an update, it's going right there on YouTube. So if you miss it here on TV, you can just go to YouTube. You can click on, you can see the updates. We've got a lot of other information there about hurricane hacks and other information just generally about the tropics right there at your disposal whenever it's convenient for you.